So gazpacho, tomato, does it have to be tomato? Yes. It does? No. I've Wait. seen cucumbers gazpacho. Mm -hmm. All cucumbers. Cucumber, Traditionally, yes, celery. tomatoes. Actually, it's in the book that tomatoes were actually after the tradition. Yeah. Traditionally, there is no. Yeah. yeah, but if you're going to say a gazpacho, mm -hmm. everybody's going to look at you and say, it better have tomatoes in it. Just make it look nice. Thank you. So look at my garnishing mix up I have here. I have a little bit more tomato because it's a tomato soup. The whole tomato minus the seeds. There and there. There. Sure. Uh huh. This basil. Oh, pretty delicious. Good. It really hurt. Well, that's right. what happens when you leave it out in the fridge, out of the fridge for a long time. Is it bad? No. no Do you see but, brown on it? Well, yeah. Then you cut the brown away. You said it was a bad year for uh, produce. Yeah, oh, well, this looks better. There you go. Okay. Hang on to it. So, can you cut more back there? <laughs> She's like, yeah, it's out of the way. <laughs> I have basil. my body and my soup. What's next on my list? I had a peppers, tomatoes, basil. So, my basil. My, yeah, Are you okay. going to, uh, yeah, this looks all right. Remember the chiffonade? I remember the mm -hmm. chiffonade. All right. That's good chiffonade. So stem and compost, could you could you puree it all up? You could. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on how far you're gonna puree it too. Yeah. So I'm gonna go just a little bit more. You don't need a lot. Too you can get by with too much. Taking just the leaves. Pack up the leaves. There, there. Maybe one there. Line it all roll up it. pretty. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Put the order in right there. No, you don't smell <laughs> no. it. No. Roll it. Yeah, right. Roll and chop. Roll and chop. <laughs> roll in the basil. That's it. Yeah. Somebody having a thing. moment over there. Oh, really. Flashback. <laughs> Flashback. 1991. Oh, yeah. 91. No more. <laughs> There, so chef's knife, chiffonade. Let's get that side. We'll put that in there. <laughs> Shaving it, super, super thin. Sharp knife. Do you want to? There, chop, 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 chop. There, extra there. That's a lot of garnish on basil. So we'll take the best of it for garnish. The rest of it in there, okay. What's that for basil? Tomato paste, maybe, maybe not. Tomato juice, okay. four ounces of tomato juice is optional. There's a little bit on the bottom. Salt, salt it's cold soup. How do you season cold soups? Before. Quite two tastes. Two tastes, like everything, but with a cold soup and as it sits in the fridge, the flavors are going to come out of it more. You may season have to over, well, over season it just slightly because the salt that's going to be there, there is going to draw out the moisture. Moisture will dilute the salt to a degree. How much more? It's hard to handle. So, a little bit of salt. There's some white pepper. Uh, a pinch. Fat pinch of cayenne. The more you put in, the hotter it's going to be. I don't want to be overloaded. A little bit of tomato paste. There. Oh, we didn't get the cucumber yet. Cucumber. 